So we're here on the germinal stand today at Soltex. I'm with Richard Brown, Hello. who's the amenity sales manager. Lovely to see you, Richard. Thank you. Thank you. Good to be here. How are you finding the show so far? It's been good. We're really pleased with the numbers. Um, and it's just good to be back and seeing people, really. I think that's the other, the biggest thing I've got to say. Yeah. You find there's, there's a buzz and people are excited to be back? Yes, I think so. I think people are excited to meet old friends. And I think there is you know, a lot going on in the trade just at the minute with, you know, price rises and changes over the last few years and I think people just want to get to grips with what the market's doing. So how are you finding with Germinal um, the trends in the marketplace? Well I think particularly we're seeing that there is a, a greater interest in seed than there perhaps there was 10 or 15 years ago and I think a lot of this certainly on the golf side but creeping into the sports side is to do with the, the lack of curative fungicides out there at the moment and people are looking to grass seed more as a valuable tool for uh, repairing damage but also for preventing disease and by managing the correct varieties and that's particularly important in golf we see it as proactive seeding and I think people are looking to be managing disease preventative species and cultivars of those species as a way to prevent disease going forward and to outcompete grasses such as power annua that get disease so that's what we'd see the trend towards recognizing seed as a management tool and recognizing the fact that managing the correct species of that can save you uh, inputs in the future. I think something definitely needs to give with that obviously because yeah. uh, turf care professionals have been stripped of their armoury really with um, yeah. the, less, the less chemicals they're allowed to use and such so yeah. something needs to give really on that front. We'd agree with that and I think that is also driving consumption of grass seed. I think you know people are, are buying more but they're seeing it as you know an inexpensive way to achieve those results. Yeah. So give us a little insight, um, what's, what's new for Germinal, what's coming up? Well, along those lines a little bit, and you know, we've obviously got our fantastic bent grass portfolio and our, our, our perennial rye grasses such as Cabrio, but going forward as a company, we see on the landscape side particularly, clovers, amenity clovers becoming increasingly important. And again, to improve soil structure, but also to reduce the uh, requirement for uh, nitrogen. On, on large landscaped areas. We've got some exclusive varieties of clover coming through, bred specifically for landscaping, and I think that's gonna be important going forward. Firstly, in the landscape sector, but maybe going forward, you might even see it in, dare I say it, golf and even sports pitches as well. So that's what I think. I think people are gonna be increasingly looking to reduce inputs by and using clovers and other grasses to uh, achieve those aims. It sounds like it's quite an exciting time for you and the oh, team. No, well, I think so. so thank you very much. <laughs> Lovely to speak to you. No Best of luck for the show. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks a lot.